फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट एज आई फ्लू इन टू बेंगलोर ये स्टरडे आई वॉज सरप्राइज टू सी फेस्टिविटीज एवरीवेयर आई न्यू ऑफकोर्स दैट नवंबर फर्स्ट इज कर्नाटका राज्योत्सव डे एंड सेलिब्रेशन आर इन ओडर एविडेंटली बेंगलोर हैड डेक्ड अप फॉर अनदर फेस्टिवल टू सेलिब्रेट एन अचीवमेंट विच हैज अर्नड दिस ब्यूटिफुल सिटी ए प्राउड प्लेस ऑन दी ग्लोबल इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी आई टी मैप आई एम हैप्पी टू इनोग्रेट दिस यूनिक फेस्टिवल बेंगलोर आई टी डॉट कॉम ऑन दिस ओकेजन आई एक्सटेंड माई हार्टी राज्योत्सव फैलिसिटेशंस to the people of bangalore and karnataka and also express my deep appreciation for what your city has achieved in the field of information technology after bangalore showed what is possible many other cities of india have joined the it march those cities that were already active have begun to move faster there is thus a healthy competition among cities and states which is leading to the creation of better infrastructure facilities and more attractive investment options all this is good for the country let a hundred bangalores bloom but the point i wish to emphasize is that it is never easy to be a pioneer and a trail blazer when bangalore started software development and export all it had was a dream and immense self confidence what it lacked in financial resources was more than made up by its bright and youthful human resources many of the titans of indian software industry today were middle class professionals not long ago they could start their own small companies only by mopping up their hard earned but meager savings which were sometimes augmented by the contributions of their generous wives they like many of the success stories in it the world over the first generation entrepreneurs who made it big because they had a big vision but also because it itself is a big leveler for the first time in modern history here is a technology which makes even a small town school student feel that he can aim high aim global and get there what a pleasant spectacle it is that a vast nationwide network of computer education centers has come into being within the past few years it is a network that reaches in many states even small towns and big villages and significantly it has come up without any government support when i see the annual results of indian software companies i feel very proud friends i have never used a computer in my life however i know what computers and information technology in general are doing to change the life around us they are revolutionizing every facet of our national and even planetary life it is changing the way we work do business learn teach travel communicate entertain ourselves and even the way we run governments and democracies the amazing changes we have already seen in this area are nothing compared with what is in the offing in the coming years and decades the internet for example does not just connect computers it connects nations economies cultures 
communities and hundreds of millions of unique individuals on a single platform. It is truly laying the basis for a new phase of progress of human civilization. Can India, which is the cradle of civilization, lag behind in this march of IT? No. For us in India, information technology does not have only an economic significance. It is a civilizational necessity for us because it is going to re-establish India as a materially prosperous and culturally resurgent nation in the coming centuries. Hence, I would like all my countrymen to know that IT is India's tomorrow. It is this vision which has made my government put information technology high on our list of priorities. The work done by the National Task Force on Information Technology and Software Development is well known to this audience. For the first time in India, an interministerial and interdepartmental mechanism at the highest level with active participation from the IT industry has been created to advise the government on all IT related matters. The first report of the task force whose focus is on software development is presently under implementation. If there are grievances about the speed and nature of implementation, please let us know. I assure you that we will set them right. The second report aimed at making India a major IT hardware manufacturing center is ready. The government will adopt the same fast track approach to its examination and adoption as was done in the case of the first report. The government recognizes that creation of a nationwide high bandwidth telecom infrastructure is crucial for all that we want to achieve in the field of information technology. As I announced only last week, we have already taken a number of bold and time bound initiatives in this direction. Work has begun on the formulation of a new national telecom policy which addresses the challenges of as well as the tremendous opportunities in the convergence between telecom, IT, media and consumer electronics now. Stop.